What is exosome? Exosome is a vesicle uh, secreted from any cells, especially if you're focused on the stem cell, and it acts as a mailman or messenger. So these are the number of the paper publications related to the exosomes. And the exosome was first discovered uh, many years ago, but the number of the uh, papers increased suddenly after 2011, 14 or something. And the secretome means that the whole collection of the secretions by the mesenchymal stem cell and the number one paracrine factors, such as the growth factor, cytokines, or, or these proteins are so familiar. We haven't studied this in the biochemistry lecture so many times. But the recently found uh, entity is exosomes. And their size is about 40, 30 to 120 nanometer. And their markers are CD63, CD81, and things like that. And there's another entity called microvesicles. So uh, there's a size, different size of the uh, microvesicles, and especially the smaller one, we call it exosomes. So the key features of exosome or exocellular vesicle is a with the size of the 30 to 150 nanometer and secret by most of cells but we are now focused more on the stem cell and it acts as a very important communicator between the cells and uh, they are involved in the paracrine activated stem cell and have uh, regenerative uh, potentials and this is the electron microscopy findings and this is the moment that the cells secrete exosomes so exosomes transport stem cell drive signals uh, by the formation of the multivesicular bodies in the cytoplasm of the uh, cells. And the exosomes contain so many uh, important uh, signaling molecules such as proteins uh, and lipids. And the key feature of the stem cell exosome is that they are composed of the lipid bilayered enclosed particles. And that is the reason why they are so stable and they are easily absorbed by the target cells. And this is the fluorescent finding. The uh, reddish is the uh, fluorescent staining of the exosomes and the uh, green color is the target cell fibroblast and the, the target cells can easily absorb the exosomes so they are so that is the reason why they are so effective and the extracellular vesicles or exosomes intrinsically possess many attributes of a uh, the source of cells uh, source cells because uh, and there's a reason why they can be utilized as a drug delivery vehicle or so many applications. They can be used as the diagnostic uh, purposes. But they are very stable because they are well tolerated in the body. They, are, they have very low immunogenicity and toxicity. And they have a very long circulating half-life. They are internalized by other cells so easily and they can act as a very small cargos. So uh, they, they are act able to cross tissue and cellular barriers so easily. So now they are developed and contribute as a uh, cell-free therapy modality. So uh, in the future, you will get exposed to exosome this word increasingly. So how stem cells exosomes are effective? and why ideal combination is important. These are the papers that was published by our research team. Actually, I didn't work in this paper, but now I'm doing my, my best for the uh, 
exosomes. And so exosomes from the uh, stem cells promote proliferation and migration of the skin uh, fibroblasts. And they increase the gene expression uh, and protect the UV-induced reactive oxygen species generation by the human tumor fibroblasts. And uh, there is a dose-dependent increase in the dermal popular cell proliferation. Uh, there is a definite dose-dependent manner, but there is certain optimal dose. And these are the papers. And these are the studies of the exosomes. And these are the distribution of the exosomes. Uh, this is done by the nano-tracking analysis technique. And these are the markers. And these are the uh, hair induction. And uh, these are the uh, effect of the exosomes on the dermal populace proliferation and gene expressions. And the, the exosomal microRNAs act on the wind signaling pathways, uh, well known for the hair regeneration. So these are the, some of the recent uh, clinical test results using the exosomes and we have done in 25 patients and this was published, uh, uh, presented in the American Academy of Dermatology this, uh, this spring. And the, so uh, our work is based on the uh, exoplant technology and the cell exosome is another product that has increased exosomes, including plant-derived exosomes. So many people cannot now distinguish from the plant extract, like phytochemicals and plant-derived exosomes. But the phytochemicals and plant-derived exosomes are totally different. Uh, and there are, we are now working on how plant-derived exosomes can stimulate and propagate the stem cell proteins. And this, this is the actually, the cell exosome is a combination of the plant-derived exosomes uh, from the stem cell-derived exosomes. And the exoplant technology is the uh, platform technology that is quite necessary for the industrialization uh, from the cultivation, separation, purification, and mass production. These are the uh, crucial steps, crucial steps in the exosome commercialized and readily available for the doctors. So what I want to tell you is that the holistic combination of stem cell secretome and exosomes are most effective for the dermal popular cell and hair dermal popular cell proliferation. So we did a comparative study comparing the AP exomony and the version 2. And there's a definite superiority in both uh, fibroblast and the dermal popular cells. So the natural composition actually was our, our conclusion, but now I think that the augmented exosome is best for the hair and skin regeneration. So the exosome is just part of the APE, so the holistic combination is really, really important. So this is my conclusion. The stem cell secretome with the next exosome is ideal for skin and hair regeneration. And there is an objective data on the improvement of diverse aspects of skin aging, such as on healing wrinkle and melasma due to photoaging. And they are effective for both endogenic, endogenetic alopecia and telogenic fluvium. And my future focus is rosacea, beta ligo, atopic dermatitis, and so on.